So imagine with me a Marine Corps general or a Army general in a major battle, right? A major battle with a major war. And an Army or Marine Corps general says, uh, all right, guys, uh, we've got an objective to uh, go in there and win this battle. And uh, I'm not really sure what that looks like, um, but we want to win. And so we're going to take some people and we're going to take some stuff and, and, and we're going to win. Can you, can you imagine? Now, what would the troops say, first of all? What would the lieutenants and, and, the, and, the, and the master sergeants, or what would these people say? They'd be like, uh, boss, uh, how many people do you want to take? What equipment do you want to take? When do you want to get it there? How, how do you want to attack this? What's our game plan, right? They would have all these questions. And can you imagine if the general goes, you know, I, I don't really know. Let's just, we just, I just know we want to win. Now, first question to you would be, how motivated do you think that organization is going to be to follow that general? My second question to you is, what are the odds that they're going to win that battle? Right? Or, you know, can you imagine a head football coach? Right? Like a football coach of the, of the, the Washington Redskins, the Dallas Cowboys saying, Okay, guys, uh, we got a big game against Philadelphia Eagles coming up this weekend. And, uh, well, we're going to win. And, uh, and our goal is to win. So... You guys make sure that uh, that you know when you go out there that you know that we win. Well, coach, what what's what's the game plan, coach? Uh, you know, just to go do what we do, man, and win. You know, uh, to do what we do. Well, where's the playbook, coach? <laughs> right? Well, we don't really have a playbook. I mean, you know, it's it's a football, so we'll throw it sometimes. We'll run it sometimes. You know, we'll just we'll win. We'll just win. Would the team be motivated to follow that that coach? Absolutely not. What are the odds are going to win that game? They're going to get creamed. They're going to get killed, right? Because the reality is nobody would follow a general into a war or into a battle that didn't have a plan. Nobody would follow a head coach of a football team into a game if he didn't have a game plan. But yet, so many of us say we want to win at life. But we don't have a game plan. We don't have a battle plan. We don't have a playbook. Right? How many people say, you know, I'd just really like to lose some weight. How much weight? By when? And how are you going to get it done? Or people go, you know, I just really want to make some more money. How much more? By when? And what are you going to do to get there? You see, you've got to have a game plan. If you don't, you're like a general with no battle plan. You're like a head football coach with no playbook. Number one, no one's going to follow you, and you can't get anywhere you're trying to go without people around you, and that's a fact. Relationships, as I've always said, the number one factor in success in any area of your life. So number one, no one's going to fall in line and fall in love with your vision and go to work with you to achieve it if you don't have one. Second thing, if you don't have an understanding of what it, is, what it looks like when you've achieved it, in other words, if it's losing weight, how many pounds? If it's making more money, how much more? If you don't have a vision for knowing what success looks like, how will you ever know if you got there? So here's what we must do. Number one, we must have a clear vision of what it is we want and what that looks like when we'll have it achieved. So if it's lose weight, know how many pounds, know by when. If it's make more money, know by when and how much more. If it's have a better relationship with, with your God or, or your creator, know what that looks like. What is your life going to be like when that's true and have that vision. If it's a better relationship with your spouse or your children, what does that look like? What does that mean? You've got to know these things. That's first and foremost. And second of all, you've got to have a battle plan. You've got to have a playbook. Do you have your Daily, do you have your big three priorities isolated? Do you know what tasks you need to accomplish every day within those big three priorities to make sure that you're moving forward in a forward motion each and every single day in the pursuance of those goals? Because if you don't, you're like the general that just goes, hey, I don't know, I just want to win, <laughs> right? We all want to win, but those that do win are the ones that have a vision, know what they're after, and they've got a game plan to get there. Is your calendar mapped out? Do you have your time disciplined well? Do you have your tasks mapped out for each and every day? Do you know what are the three or four or five things that have to get done tomorrow to move you towards your goals that trump everything else? 
Or are you like an octopus on roller skates? You know, email and cell phones and Facebook and Twitter and text messages and all. But no, none of that moving you any closer to where you want to be. If you want to win the battle of your success financially, emotionally, spiritually, in business and relationships, you've got to know what success looks like. And then you got to put a plan together to go after it. Because until you do, I don't recommend going to war. But once you know what victory looks like and you've got your battle plan in place, then it's time to attack. And that's the dose.